Made sense, right? Right? Because let me show you what God said about Israel. And, and this is why it do make sense. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. And it reads, For thou art in holy people, Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord said, You are holy people unto the Lord thy God. The word holy in the Hebrew is kadash, means to be set apart, special, right? Yeah, different than other people, right? Go ahead. The Lord thy God have chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people, to be a special people. unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people, what say? above oh, all oh, people, above oh, all oh, people oh, that are upon the face of the earth. Now, when you look at the whole world, who does who does things on another level? When you say we do things on a different level than everybody else, we rap better, we make music better, right? We style better, we cook better, we can sing better, play sports better. The list goes on and on. We we, we make the most inventions. Right? Without the word, that's a small list. But if you look at that, that's a lot of essential things. The street lights. Yeah, shit like we need. Right? But they treat us like what? I said, but they treat us like what? Garbage. Like garbage. Right? So let me show let me show you how emphatically we could be the Israelites, right? Give me Isaiah 42 and 22. Right? Tell me who this fit. Give me um Zephaniah, um, uh, Zechariah 11 and 5. The book of Isaiah 42 and 22. Bring it out. But this is a people uh -huh. robbed and spoiled. What are we? But this is a people robbed, robbed and spoiled. spoiled. Who's been more robbed and spoiled than us? All these inventions. Now, we created all this. Did we get paid for that? When you said we was robbed of them inventions? Right? And a spoiler, when you go into it, spoils is something that after war. Right? They, they, they came over to the western shores of Africa, took us, and brought us over here and made us work for them, right? Without pay, so you would say we were robbed and spoiled, right? Go ahead. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. And what? And they are hid in prison houses. And we're what? And they are hid in prison houses. Now they said we're twelve percent of the population, but we make up all the prison population, right? I think they said the other nations, which would be the so-called white man, the Arab man. The, the Japanese and so on and so forth, they make up, I think, 3% of the prison population. How does 12% of the population make up the whole prison population? Read it again. Right? And they are hid in prison houses. That's what we're here at. They take us off the streets and they hide us in prison houses. Right? It was not too long ago, I think it was like, maybe two, two, it was like two years ago, when the dude, the old dude, it was like an elder dude, he spit, they gave him what, 90 some years in prison? Remember, the, remember that article? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, the dude spit, and they gave him like 90 some years in prison. We're hid in prison houses. Who else could that be talking about? The white man could rape somebody and literally abuse. Matter of fact, it's a young girl on, on I think, Facebook right now. She, she, got, she got took captive and was being sexually abused for years. She finally got the upper hand on her on her abuser and killed him. And now she's in jail and going through the process of getting, getting, getting charged. Because we're the ones here in prison houses. Right? Go ahead. They are for a prey. They are for what? They are for a prey. That's why you have the so-called white man, the uh the laws, you might want to say uh the police, right? Sitting in cuts in the in the in the hoods, watching. Yeah, they're in the corner. They're looking at us like prey. What what does a prey do? Like like a snake. They sit, they hunt. There you go. Exactly. And we're the prey. They're the, they're the predator, we the prey. Not even, not even, that's, that's, that's the thing right there. Not, sometimes we don't even fuck up. Exactly. And they say, can we search you? Is that, is that, and most of the time that's a rhetorical question. Cause they still, they still gonna search you. Can we search your car? Can we search your vehicle? And then they're gonna, they're gonna say we, we suspect something. They, yeah, and not only that, right? Now, when they say stop resisting, what happens? Most of the time, when they say stop resisting, what happens? They what? Yeah, yeah, right? What you got? 
Psalm 7 and 8. Psalm 7 and 8. He sitteth in the lurking places. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. Of the villages. Now, villages is an old, an old word for what? Town. Your block. Your neighborhood. Right? So he's sitting in the lurking places and do what? In the secret places, uh -huh. does he murder the innocent? Does he do what? Does he murder the innocent? Does he, do what? does he murder the innocent? Why that happen to us? Because remember, we're above all people. Right. So why does it happen? Right. Bring it out. Deuteronomy. Give me that. Deuteronomy. Give me 15, then jump to 25. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. It but it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Lord said, if we don't listen, right, to the voice of the Lord thy God. At this time, it's Moses speaking. The Most High is using Moses to speak to us. So it's not actually Moses' voice who we're listening to. He's saying you're listening to the most, the, um, the, uh, you listen to God's voice because I don't, all I'm doing is speaking, thus said the Lord. I'm just the vessel that he's using. So he said, if you don't hearken to the voice of God, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So it said, we don't do his, his, his law, statutes, and commandments, right? That what? That all these curses, that all these, that that all these, these curses, curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now listen to one of the curses, 25. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. To be what? To be smitten before thine enemies. Now that word smitten could be to be punched, like you just said, stop resisting. Or it could go a little deeper and you could get killed. Right? Now check this out. Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 11 and verse 5. Bring it out. Whose possessors slay them. Who's do what? Whose possessors slay them. Who possesses us right now? Who hand are we in? Whose kingdom is this? The kingdom. Who? What? What? What nation rules this kingdom? Yeah. What people? What people group? What people group rules the world? White people. White people. There you go. Cause don't they go to other countries and make war? And after war, they set up their own um, military base in there, right? And not only that, think about this in Iran, right? Or Iraq, Iraq. Not too long ago, when um, the 9/11 shit happened. They went over there saying it was weapons of mass destruction, right? They rape, robbed them people for their poppy seeds, then set up bases over there. They never left. They still over there. Then they took over. Everywhere they go, they have bases though. Even at the um, Nagasaki, um, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, in, in, in what is that, Japan? They still over there. The Vietnam War, they still over there. See that? You see what I'm saying? They over there. So he runs the world, right? Now, we're in his hands. He possesses us. But what does he do? Whose possessors slay them. He do what? Whose possessors slay them. To admit rights. And hold themselves not guilty. And do what? And hold themselves not guilty. And hold themselves not guilty. What happened when they go to court? They get found guilty? No, no, no. When they go to court? When they go to court? After they kill somebody? No, them. They get probation. They get... They don't even get shit. What happened to George Zimmerman? Yeah. No, George Simmons. Oh, 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 he out. Yeah, he killed, he killed, he killed yeah. um, Trayvon Martin, Martin yeah. and nothing happened to him. That was a, that was an opposite way. Trayvon Martin in the cell right now. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Now look, what, what happened with um the, the, the officer that, that shot, um, what's her name? Breonna Taylor. No jail time. Just like the nigga that, um, so what's his name? The one that had his neck on the guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, nah, no, nah, he got, he got prosecuted. Oh, he did? He was that one they had to make an example. They had to make an example out of him because the whole world and saw it. And I, I think that everybody was going crazy outside yeah. too with the yeah. looting. That's probably the yeah, only yeah, reason. Yeah, 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 that's the only reason. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Right? But knowing that, look, check it out. Um, what happened to the, to the cop that shot the little boy Tamir Rice? Yeah. Tamir Rice, the little boy that was playing with the BB gun. Oh. In Cleveland. In Cleveland. Oh, I think you talking about the shit that happened in the Bronx. It was a guy that was playing with the, the nerve blaster and a cop shot him. I was the cop. And that was my friend. And, and what happened? Cop, nothing. He, my friend's dad, his family gonna always be sad and the cop is still, I think he got like three weeks unpaid, like unpaid and yeah. he's back. And he's back. Yeah. Read that again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. They slay us and hold themselves not guilty. 
You see what I'm saying? So who is the Bible speaking to? Us. Because this is our forefathers writing the letters, writing scrolls and things out to us. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Because why? We supposed to be above all nations. Right? So so look, if me and you sit down having a having a talk, we writing up a contract. On the contract, it has things that you has to you have to fulfill and things that I have to fulfill, right? So give me 28 and 1. Because that's the end goal. Well, I'm gonna put you above all nations. So in order for that to happen, it's a stipulation in the contract. Check this out. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Now remember 15, this, the 15 in this verse said, if we didn't hearken, right? Listen. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Bring it up. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently. If you say, if you listen closely, right? Constantly, right? What? Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Then what's going to happen? That the Lord thy God will set thee on high uh -huh. above all nations of the earth. You see that? If we listen and pay attention to his commandments, then we will be set above all nations. But we chose the what? The opposite side of the coin, right? Now we're under the curses. What's going on in Chicago right now? Killing, right? Let me ask you a question though. Do they use any of them 30 sticks to shoot a white man down? Why is that? Don't the white man do more destructive, destructive things to us than we do to each other? They brainwashed? Let me show you something. 54. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Bring it out. And it reads, So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Now, we used to have brotherly love. You know the term, it takes a village to raise a child? That, that comes from us. My great, I think my grandma, she used to tell me, look, if we got in trouble down the street, say, she said, y'all got it good. If, if, if we got in trouble down the street, the neighbor down the street would whoop our ass. Bring us home, our mother would whoop our ass, and then when our father get home, he would whoop our ass. So you get three ass whooping for one thing you did. What happens right now if the neighbor down the street even yells at the, the child? The parents don't come back at them. See what I'm saying? It's the total opposite right now. Cause once we was tender and delicate, but what? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Read that again for the brother. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. What's going on in Chicago? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Shoot each other? His eye shall be evil toward his brother. Now we have an evil eye towards one another. That's right. Yeah. Just like now. When people see other people, like young people like me, uh -huh. see another black person, they get like, oh, they see a white guy, oh. That's what I mean by brainwash. They think. We need our own enemy, but we not. Uh -huh. But that's, like, that's what we think right now, because we brainwashed. Yeah, yeah. And, check this out, and because why? We're not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. The commandments say, at all costs, I have to protect you. I don't know you from a hole in the wall, right? But if I see something about to go down where your blood is in danger, I have to protect you. Instead of the George Floyd situation holding my phone up, like this, I have to step in and put my life on the line. Right? Give me that in John 15. Go bring it Finish that. Come. And toward the wife of his bosom. And towards what? And toward the wife of his bosom. Now you talk about baby daddy, baby mama drama. Who has that more than any of these people on this sign? No, I'm saying, who has that more than any of these people? Look. Any of these people. Any of these people. No, no, no. That's not Indians. That's West Indies. Yeah. So who has it more than any of these people on this sign? No. I'm talking about. No, I'm talking about what other nations? The white man. Is, 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 is Sally? Is Sally coming at Chad like that? No. Nah. What about um? Xing Wang Mang. Is she coming at Jiang Ping like that? No. They, they're in order. It's us. Baby daddy, baby mama drama. 
You see what I'm saying? Now, it right here, no, it don't. It just, it just, it just, it just a dispute. They call it a dispute, but it's drama with us. Now it says your husband and wife, because look in the Bible, when once a man enter into a woman, that's his wife. There's no such thing as baby daddy, baby mama. See, that's another thing our people don't understand. When you land with a woman, that is your wife now. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now, it goes on. If if you having drama with the woman, right? The court is gonna is gonna um favor the woman, right? So what's gonna happen with the kids and the father's relationship? There you go, right? Read it from the top. So that the man that is tender among you uh -huh. and very delicate, uh -huh. his eyes shall be evil toward his brother uh -huh. and toward the wife of his bosom uh -huh. and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which he shall leave. Again? Which he shall leave. I get that. You don't got to explain. See that? Basically, say the trick that the baby mama does. Uh huh. Make the baby father hate her so much, it will grow into the kid and leave, and you never get to be there. Yeah. It's because of what him and what they've been through. Yeah. They affected the kid. But it's also different scenarios too. How you? Because listen. Sometimes, sometimes you just have a father who just just don't want to be there. Sometimes. Yeah. But let's not let's not forget about that too. Yeah. Because you do got some niggas who. It, it's just one dude I know, we be, we be chatting. He say, he think it's some men's job just to literally go around dropping seeds. That's what they, that was what they was created for. Cause they ain't gonna take care of none of their kids. They just gonna go around dropping seeds to these women. Like for real. And nine out of 10, most of them women knew, know each other and know who he is. And know that he ain't a no good nigga. Oh, yeah, what the baby hey, so Thank you, that's what I'm saying. Hey, exactly. You see what I'm saying? That's being mentally messed up. Right? That's being mentally messed up. Now, check this out. Why do other nations come over here and just build up businesses? But we've been here for hundreds of years. We we, we actually created the economy of America. Right. And what I said, I said, because. Like, the my experience, when people get like a big amount of money, they don't think about investing in shit. Uh -huh. They don't think about buying business until it's too late, until the money's done, and then they're thinking about it. All right, so I was watching this one interview, right? They say, now this this is a rich person talking. He say, he said, I'm gonna speak for myself, but I know it's for all of the black, rich black people. He said, we can't help our people. He say, if we try to help our people, they will take our money from us. It's an agenda. Well, that's why. That's why you see them with twenty and thirty cars, three and four houses, mansions, but they don't do nothing for their community. They'll go back and give a turkey drive or this and that, but they can't uh, big up their community. Mr. Davis, another neighborhood, he tried to do something, he tried to do something in his neighborhood, and yeah. he burnt that shit down, and he tried to save the drug dealers on the block that year. See? Was it actually the drug dealers? That's what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying? Now, they let LeBron build his school, right? Is it an all-black school? Is it an all, like, all the teachers black, teaching nothing but black history? No. So I'm gonna let you build something and put your name on it, but you're going to, exactly, you're going to keep them in the matrix. Now, check this out. Just with this little one list alone, right, we should have money flowing in our communities. Our people, we're, we're inventors. We're inventors, right? Not only that, we had a mind state and mind capacity to surpass every nation. You understand? That's why. That's why um, Kanye say, you know what? Adidas can take 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 um take they uh they cash back. You know he came back, started selling his his Yeezys without them, and he's making money. Nineteen point two million. Nineteen point two what? Nineteen point two million in one day. Nineteen point two million in one day. He don't need them because they're using him, right? So why can't that happen for all of us? Check this out, give me 43. Remember, we're still in the curses. This is what the Lord said we're gonna be under. Check this out. Verse 43, Deuteronomy 28 and 43. The stranger 
that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. Now the stranger that is within thee, that means every other nation that's around about us, they're going to come and get above us. Right? Check this out. And thou shalt come down very low. And we shall what? And thou shalt come down very low. Go ahead. He shall lend to thee. He shall what? He, he shall, shall lend to thee. But what? And thou shalt not lend to him. So now they're going to be able to lend to us, but we ain't going to be able to lend to them. But remember, we're supposed to be above all nations. Finish it out. He shall be the head, uh -huh. and thou shalt be the tail. See that? That's the curse. Now I'm going to put them in the front, and you're going to be in the back. No, we're going to be in the back now. Exactly. Exactly. But it's only why. What, that too? Jose, 4 6. Give me 15 again. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will oh, not. You said 45? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Why? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments. You know what? To keep his commandments. Why are we in this predicament? Because we didn't keep his commandments. You see what I'm saying? It's simple and easy as that. Right? Now to your point. Hold where you at. To your point. Because we didn't have, we won't have the knowledge. Bring this up. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Are we at the bottom? My people, people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Read it one more time. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Go ahead. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Because we did what? Because thou has rejected knowledge. Now I don't want to hear that Bible. Man, get out of my head. Man, get out of my face. Because we reject the knowledge. Go ahead. I will also reject thee. You will do what? I will also reject thee. Now you're no longer going to be number one. Now you're going to drop all the way. Now you're going to go from being the top nation all the way to number 18. Now you're going to be in last place instead of being first. Right? Go ahead. That, sorry. I will also reject thee, uh -huh. that thou shalt be no priest to me. Because now, since we don't have his knowledge, we can't be priests. We can't come out and teach one another. You see what I'm saying? But that's why we're able to teach now because we have came back. We're harnessing the, 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 the knowledge of the Most High and giving it to our people. Tell them, look, stop, stop rejecting the knowledge and come back. Now, check this out. He's going to finish this verse, but let me ask you something. Why do our young kids get shot down in the streets? Young kids. Huh? Because gang violence? Yes. That's a tool of it. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Right? Check this out. Sing, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Seeing that you forgot my law, the commandments. I will also forget thy children. You will also do what? I will also forget thy children. Now your children ain't got my protection no more. You want to forget me, I'm going to forget your children. Right. I'm going to hit you where it hurt. Your seed that comes from your loins or your seed that proceeds from your bowels is no going to, I'm going to take my protection from you. Now look, when Lil Ray Ray's chasing Pookie down with his 30s clip, your daughter could get hit with a straight bullet. The first thing he say is, oh God, oh pride to God. You see that? Now I understand what you're saying. Keep that point in your mind. They said what? Oh God, right? Oh God, that's the first thing. Isaiah 59 and 1. Bring this out. The book of Deuteronomy 32 and 39. So they say, they say what? Ray Ray killed him. John John killed him. Right? Let's see who actually killed him. 32, De Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Bring it out. See now that I, even I. This is God saying it. I, even I. Am he. Uh -huh. And there is no God with me. There's no God with me. I kill. Do what? I kill. What? I kill. Who killed, who killed La Susan? God. Who killed Lakeisha? God. God did that. Because you rejected my knowledge, you threw my law to the side. All right, so I'm going to just throw your kids to the side. Go ahead. And I make a lie. Uh -huh. I wound. He said what? I wound. So when you have your daughter walk around from a straight bullet like that, 
he wounded her because someone is not keeping them commandments. Go ahead. And I heal. Uh -huh. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And the Lord said, once I set my judgment upon that to happen, it's going to happen. There's nothing nobody can do. Because I didn't made my mind up that you've been so disrespected, um, disrespectful and disobedient to my laws. I have to do this. There's nothing that the doctors could do. There's no medicine. It's nothing. Once he said you can't walk, you can't walk. Exactly. And, and what the doctor say? The doctor, because let's put it in the reverse. They say, oh, you ain't gonna never walk again. How many people walking after that? A lot of them. A lot of them. Because it's all that God oh, wants to do. Yeah. He said, I wound and I heal. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's nothing outside of the power of God. Now, what you say, the first thing they say when they get shot, what they say? Oh God. oh God. Check this out. Give me all John 31. 931. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1. Bring it out. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short. They said the Lord's hand is not short. That it cannot say. Uh-huh. Neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. It says his hand is not short where he can't save you. Neither is his ear heavy where he can't hear your prayers. But what? But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. But your iniquity has stopped your power. It literally cut it off. Cause the Lord God is our power. Cause where's our military? Where's our military? Where? Well, where's our military? Not the white man's military. Where's the people who fight for us? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. The Lord does. The Lord is our strength. How many times you hear David say, the Lord is my strength, my fortress. Whom shall I fill? That's right, that's right. David tells you who our, who our strength is. That's right. Even in the curses, I'm going to get that curse though. He's going to tell you, is no might in your hand. Because why? Our iniquity has separated us from our power. Yeah, which is your iniquity. Your sin is that wall, that barrier that's between y'all. Right? Check this out. The book of St. John, chapter 9 and verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. It say, now we know that it's a for sure thing. Read it again. Listen how John said. John said, this is something that's for sure. Read. Right. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Uh -huh. But if any man be a worshiper of God uh -huh. and doeth his will, and, do what? and doeth his will, what is the will of God? You should know this. Because how, how he's not listening to us. No, how is he not listening to us? It says, what separates us? The barrier, our actions, the stuff that we do. Let's start with the S word. It's the S word. Sin. Sin. Our sins block us. Our sins block us. So what will be the will of God? Our prayer? No, nah, because he's blocking the blocking the prayers. It's an action that we didn't do. The reason we're not on top. What he say? If you keep my, if you keep my, start with a C. Give me, give me, um, give me, um, John one and third, um, one, um, first John three and four. First John, chapter three and verse four. Cause yeah. I sin. He don't listen to us cause I sin. So let's find out what sin is. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. What is the what is another word for the law? Start with a C. Give me other, um, Psalm 48. The Lord. How about this? <laughs> now you good, you good, you good. It says, if any man doeth his will, so we're gonna get his will. Give me that. Psalm chapter 40 and verse 8. Bring it out. I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Uh -huh. Yeah, thy law is in my heart. So once again, he's saying the law. He said, if you don't hearken to listen to the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his laws, statutes, and commands. Commandments. 
Remember, remember the commandments is something he told you to do. No matter what. He's not asking you. He's commanding. Work, you understand? Right, so read this again. Uh, the book of St. John, 9 and 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, uh -huh. but if any man be a worshiper of God uh -huh. and doeth his will, uh -huh. him he heareth. So only the Lord will only hear you if you're doing what? Following, Following his commandments. He said anybody could do that. Regardless. Huh? Anybody could do that. Anybody could do what? Like follow the commandment, any type of man. What you mean? When any, I say that, I mean, I mean, it don't gotta be black, it don't gotta be white, I just mean any man. You sure about that? Nah, that's not. You sure? It don't matter. Huh? You sure? No, I'm not sure about that. I don't. All right. I disagree all right. with all that. Praise. All praise. All praises. It does matter yeah, about the depends. color of your skin. No, it's not about the color that's of your skin. That's what I meant by that. No, no, cause look, I mean. is, is me and my brother the same color? Yeah. So we're not talking about skin. Right. We're talking about a seed line. Right, that's why he said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's following the seed line. Jacob, in Genesis um, 28, uh, 32 and 28, his name got changed to Israel. Jacob had 12 sons, right? These two, these two actually come from Joseph. And you have the, the tribe of Dan. So these two is actually from under Joseph. So he had 12 sons, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon. You have Joseph and Dan, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Naphtali, and Issachar. All right? So he had 12 sons, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You see what I'm saying? So now, when you, when you look into it, that's who the, the line is following. And how do we know that God will only deal with us? Give me Amos um, three, three, 3 from the top. Give me Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Because God created everybody, right? You got, uh, Psalm, uh, give me that song first. Psalm 147. And what was the... 19 what? Psalm 147 and verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He showed it to us through the hand of Moses. That's what we're reading the curses at. He gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. He said, look. If you do them, you're going to be blessed above all nations. If you don't, all these curses are going to fall upon you. He showed his word unto Jacob, his law, statutes, and commandments to Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Uh huh. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. It said he, don't, he didn't deal like that with the other nations. And as for his judgments, going to slavery on ships, getting your back beat in, having the yokes of iron. I'll bring that out too. That somebody was going to put a yoke of iron around our neck. You Google Yoke of Iron, you'll see nothing but our pictures. Right? Whether it's, it's the Southern Kingdom or the Northern Kingdom. It don't matter. Right? Not only that, then you have the evil eye towards one another. Like I say, did, 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 do you ever see um, Billy and Chad shooting each other down in the street? No. Them curses only fit us. So as for his judgments, they don't know them. We the only ones know them. We the only ones in the ghettos and the slums, no matter where you go. Not just in the USA. Go to the Dominican Republic. Go to Haiti. Go to Jamaica. How are people living? That's right. Let's go on the eastern side of the hemisphere. How are our people living in London? They still in the ghettos in the slum over there. In Asia. In Ukraine. They didn't even want to let them leave Ukraine when the war kicked off. They said get out of the way, let, let the Ukrainians leave. They was literally treating our people bad on camera. They don't care. How the Koreans treat our sisters in the um in the house shops? When they think they stole something? They be beating them with brooms. I seen the bit. It was just it was just a um what that a, a Japanese? It was either a Japanese or a Korean man. He thought a young brother was stealing water, a bottle of water. Chased him down. He walked behind him out the out the store. He said he seen him walking, so he started running. Like what the fuck? Then he started chasing him and shot him down and killed him. Remember, one of the curses said, I'm going to cause you to be smitten before your enemies. These don't fit nobody else. They judge the judgments, they don't know them. Let's double down on it. The book of Amos 3 and 1. Bring it out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken on. 
that the Lord has spoken against you, uh -huh. O children of Israel, oh, everybody. O children of Israel, oh, whole world. O, o children, children of Israel, against the whole family which I have brought up from the land of Egypt. He said, he said against the whole family. My brother, my brother, my sister, my brother, the whole family that he brought up out of Egypt. Go ahead. You only have I known. That's a misprint. You only have I known. He said, you only have I known. But God created everybody, right? God created everybody. Now, now when you go into the word known, right? A man knows his woman, that's how she becomes his wife. Which means what? He's intimate with her. So when he say, you only have I known, he's only intimate with Israel. Yeah, I created everybody. Yeah, all souls are mine, but I'm only intimate with Israel. Right, Reed? You only have I known uh -huh. of all the families of the earth. Out of everybody that I created. Therefore, I will punish you. He would do what? Therefore, I will punish you. It goes back to what he say. Their judgments, his judgments, they don't know. He said, therefore, I'm going to punish you for what? For all your iniquities. For what? For all your iniquities. Pop quiz, what is iniquity? What is iniquity? No, iniquity. Remember, iniquity separates us from our God. So another word for iniquity is what? There you go. There you go. Transgression of the law. You see what I'm saying? Now, let me show you something. Remember this. God said we're above everybody. We don't live like that because of the curses. So what do we have to do to reverse this? Start to listen. Start to listen to what? The word of God, the commandments. There you go. To the commandments. It's simply easy as that. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Right? But let me show y'all something before I get that. Give me the shotgun real quick. Um, no, no, what should we call it? Um, second edge. Yeah. Cause just to show you again that he's only dealing with us. Right? Check this out. Yeah. Friends out. The book of 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom all, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. It say, out of Adam come all these people. Right? You hear that, sis? Out of Adam come all these people. Check this out. And the, what, what's like it's like it's like it. Not all these people. Right? Cause because you got the Ethiopians. Uh, uh, most most of these right here, they come from from um, Ham. Some of them come from Ham. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, Slaki. Yeah, that's bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm tripping. All of them do come out of Adam. I had a, I had a lapse. In, I had a lapse in a speech right there. No, all of them come from Adam, right? I'm thinking. I'm thinking about Jacob. No, all these come out of Adam. Right. All, right? all 18 nations right here. Cause wow, what happened after after the whole world was created? You had Adam. You had the Adamites, which you'll which you read about when you read the Bible. But the whole world got flooded. Wiped out everybody. But all these people come from well, Noah and his eight sons. So all of them come from Adam. Right? So it said, who thou made us Lord of all creatures. Of him come we all. Out of Adam come all of us. Go ahead. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. But then he said, and the people also who thou has chosen. So he put a separation. He said, everybody come out of Adam and the people who thou has chosen. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee. Hey brother, you gotta be a stranger. This is a family affair. Come up, come up, come up. Right All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, because thou made the world for our sakes. He made the world for what? For our sakes. He made the world for us. The world is only here for the Israelites. Right. The other people is only here to serve the other the Israelites. That's right. Because in the end, we're going to be placed back on top and they will be serving us. Right, right now, we're serving the white man's kingdom, don't we? Right. Even, even the young gangbangers serve a purpose. The young gangbangers is there to do what? To keep our numbers low. Kill his next, kill his brother so long as we keep producing, but you have on the other side to kill him down, it kind of equals out. We, we will never get overran. Right? As for the other people, now, as for the other people, which also come of Adam, uh -huh. 
thou hast said that they are nothing. That what? That they are nothing. That's not dumb. That they are nothing. That they are nothing. But be like what? But be like unto spittle. You got spit in your mouth? They're less than that. That's what the word of the Lord say. Now, this, you probably looking at this book like saying, like, damn, that, I don't know if that's in the Bible. Right? These are the, these are the books that they took out. Damn, Check this out. Oh, damn, let me see that. Let me see that right though. Yeah, right, 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 right. This right here is the 1611 King James. Right, now, if I flip, if I flip right here real quick. You can read old English? Yeah. Start and start start where you left off. Second yeah. Ezra 6 and 54. Uh, let me see, what was I? Uh, Let's go 50, 55. Uh, 55. Uh -huh. All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, Go ahead. because thou madest the world for our sakes. Uh -huh. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, uh -huh. thou hast said that they are nothing, uh -huh. but be like unto spittle. But they be like unto spit. Go ahead. And has likened the abundance of them. He said you likened the abundance of them, which means you can gather up all the other nations. Bring them all to one spot. But they be like what? Be like unto um, abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Look around you. One raindrop. That's what the Lord likens everybody else to. One raindrop that's falling on the ground right now. That's how less did he look at them. They're, they're here for no purpose. They're here to serve his children. Now the pastor ain't gonna never read this. Nobody, I guarantee you never heard that verse. The sister looked like she like, I ain't never heard that. I never heard that. But that's what it is. Go ahead. And it reads. And now, verse 57. Now, now this is what's happening now. Check this out. Come. And now, O oh Lord, uh -huh. behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing. As you say, they always been known as nothing. They're always been known as nothing. Right. But what? Have begun to be lords over us. What was the curse earlier? Say the other nations that surround about thee shall get up above thee And we will do what? Come down low It just said it right there again Read it again Right It says And now O Lord behold these heathen uh -huh. Which have ever been reputed as nothing Have begun to be lords over us uh -huh. And to devour us But but we thy people Whom thou hast called thy firstborn uh -huh. Thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. We was given to their hands. What is it? What, what did he mean that we was given into his hand? Uh huh. They said we was given into their hands by bringing us into captivity. Check this out. Deuteronomy 28 and 6 days. Right? What? Oh, this right here? Oh, you talking about, um, talking about my, the service on horses or the, which one? Yo, brother got a bounce. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. You gotta go real quick? You got like five more minutes? Come on, I'll pray, I'll pray. I wanna give you some commandments. All this would have been unfruitful if we don't get no commandments. I'm gonna give you the last curse, then I'm gonna get the commandments. All right, bring this up. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Real quick, you know the story of Moses? What did Moses do? There's nothing when I got left. Left in the house. Uh, I just watched the movie. So the finish. I'm sorry, it's late. It's late. It's late. All right, so Moses, the one that got sent to Pharaoh, say, let my let my people go. The one that, 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 that oh, split the sea. The yeah, he split the sea. Right? So, you know what the Israelites was doing in Egypt? In order for him to have to say, let my people go, they had to be what? They had to be what? Captive. Right? They had to be in captivity, right? Bring this up. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again He said I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again I'm going to just show you what they were doing in Egypt real quick The book of Judas 5 and 11 Bring it out. And it reads 
Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them uh -huh. and dealt subtly with them. He dealt cunning with them. And brought them low uh -huh. with laboring and brick. And did what? And made them slaves. What was we? And, and made, made them slaves. slaves. So we were slaves in Egypt. Now, if I say, yo, them some nice shoes, somebody might debo them. You know what I'm talking about, right? What am I saying? Somebody might take them. Somebody might take them. So we speak in slain, right? Our forefathers, they wrote in slain. The most high get the most high delivered his word in slain, which is also another word for parables, uh, dark sayings, similitudes, metaphors. So if I'm saying I'm gonna bring you back into Egypt again, you knowing this as a slavery, what am I saying? I'm gonna bring you back into slavery. Them same conditions. I'm gonna bring you back into slavery again. So I'm gonna read it again, and when he say Egypt, I'm gonna say slavery, and then we're gonna continue on. How do we get over here? How did our forefathers get? Oh. It's right here, it's documented. It's documented. It shows you the, the ways that it went, Slocky. Right? It shows you the ways that we went and the boats. Right? Check this out. And the Lord shall shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said, I'm gonna bring you back into slavery again. How? With ships. With what? With ships. What? With ships. That's written in the Bible. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. He said, just like I said it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, and then you will never see your homeland again. What is our homeland? Africa. See, he said Africa. Africa. You said Africa, right, Elder? Check this out. Africa is a continent. Right. It's over 56 countries in Africa. Right. Where are we from? Bring it up. I'm going to give you a hint. It's in our name. It's in our name. You from my parents? Israel. There you go, sister. We're the children of Israel. Right. You have fake people in your land right now. Right. Right. Why you think they took Kanye money? Kanye said we we the lost child to Judah, Judah, Judah. We the, we the children of Israel. Why you think they got so mad and took his money? Because niggas, shut up. I gave you wealth. I gave you wealth in abundance. You my puppet. You don't supposed to speak out the truth. You see what I'm saying? We the children of Israel. We from Israel. And so he said, just like I said, thou shalt see it no more again. What? And there. Thou shalt see it no more again, uh -huh. and there he shall be sold. He shall be what? He shall be sold. Now look right here. This is a this is a real flyer that was going around. Right here. To be sold. A cargo of 94 prime healthy Negroes. Was we sold? Yeah. We were sold. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. Who were we sold to? The white man. What did the Lord call him? Enemies. And we wonder why they do they do what they do. The Lord say these are your enemies. So why we have some of our people want to be, you know, buddy buddy with them. You have some women want to sleep with them. You have some some men some men want to sleep with their women. The Lord say they're your enemies. Go ahead. For bond men. For what? For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. Now that word buy right there when he say no man shall buy you, it's a it's a it's a it's a statute in the in the um in the in the commandments where it say if your brother is in slavery or in servitude, a, a one of his other brothers can buy him back. He can redeem him out of servitude. So right here when he's saying this, he's saying none of your brothers will ever be able to, to get you out of this captivity. Martin Luther King tried. Malcolm X tried, Harriet Tubman kept taking him to the um, Underground Railroad, so on and so forth. The list is, 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 is extended. Right? And that's it. Because remember, as slaves, slaves used to be able to free themselves by paying now, you know, buy their freedom. Uh huh. So that's what it's saying. Like, nobody's going to be able to buy your freedom. That too. See so what I'm saying? Even when, they, even when they got free, you had some wicked ass white man that would actually go hunt them back down rip up their papers and, and put them back in that. slavery. Yeah, I see that too. That too. I see that now, too. Deuteronomy 10 and 12, and let's get some commandments for the brother, because you got to go. Um, grab me some commandments, King. The book of Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So this is what we got to do. And now Israel, and now, who? And now Israel. Who is the Lord talking to? There you go. I love that. I love when you say that. Because I always, people be like, uh, the blacks, the Hispanic. So when you say us, you make it personal. This is your book. This is your history. Everybody has their own history written down somewhere. This is ours, right? So he's talking to us. 
What does the Lord thy God require of thee? I'm going to see if you're smart. What does the Lord require of us? There you go. It's simple and easy as that. Listen, it, they say life is a game. If life is a game, the Lord gave us the cheat code. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To, do what? to keep the commandments of the Lord. Uh -huh. So that's that's what we gotta do. For what? And his statutes which I command thee for thy good. For thy good. Because none of this shit is good. None of this, what they did to us is good. Right. See what I'm saying? So everything that the Lord put us through, these judgments that he gave us, it's, it's none good. So he said, keep the commandments for your good. Now I'm going to give you a few commandments, right? You eat pork? My dad is a roster. A roster. A You eat seafood? Some crabs? Lobsters? What about you, sis? You eat pork? I like but I know you're not supposed to. You eat pork? Yeah. You do? You know, you know we picked up that habit in slavery, right? But this is what our forefathers know. You got Leviticus? The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it out. And the swine, uh -huh. though he divide the hoof uh -huh. and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cut, uh -huh. he is unclean to you. The Lord said he unclean to you. Go ahead. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, uh -huh. and their carcass shall ye not touch. Go ahead. They are unclean to you. Go ahead. There, it's like these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Now he's gonna tell you what you can eat in the water. Alright? Go ahead. Whatsoever has fins and scales uh -huh. in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So he say anything that has fins and scales, right? Now I always do this. How many fish can you name me that got fins and scales? How many fish? Not all of them have fins and scales. But you can't have either. They have to have both. That's the character traits of a, a clean fish. So, so if you have no fins or no scales, you can't eat it. Right? So if you got fins and scales, that's good to eat. No catfish. They got no scales. Mighty might don't got scales. Salmon do. Salmon. salmon good. Salmon good. Yeah. Salmon, bass, uh, oh, so snapper, bass. trout. It's a lot of them. Oh, okay. It's a lot of them. The reason I ask that because the Lord gave you a plethora of fish you can eat. As long as it's got fins and scales, you can have it. Indulge in it. Right? Look at this. Now the Lord say his commandments ain't grievous. Check this out. Give me numbers. It's, it's, it's easy to sew these on, 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 on your um, on your garments. You can go to the fabric store and find these, right? Or you can look on look online. That's find for them. the men. Or that's it's for women men too. and women, right? But I'm gonna tell I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something about you that don't have nothing to do with. It. My, 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 let me finish both of y'all. I'm gonna give you the ones for both of y'all. Everybody say you gotta go. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you one where you are supposed to put these at on your garments. All right. Go ahead. Numbers chapter. Uh, 15. Sorry. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. No, no. And it reads, Speak unto the children of Israel. Who's the Lord talking to? Us. And bid them. Uh -huh, bid, that, they, that word bid means command them. So once again, it's commandment. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout the generations. So they say fringes in the borders of your garments throughout your generations. That word generations means to regenerate. Are we still generating? Isn't baby still dropping? So we still generate, right? So we should still be doing this, right? Throughout your generations. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So it don't matter the color of fringes. Let me see your fringes, brother. So the brother got white. I got black. The brother got blue. He got orange. It don't matter the fringes, but look. He got a blue ribbon. He got a blue ribbon. He got a blue ribbon. I got a blue ribbon, right? All the brothers got blue ribbons. So it don't matter the colors of the fringes. It's the God is a meticulous God. And remember what he said, if you hearken diligently. So, yeah, it's blue, it's different blues, but it's blue. Yeah, so as long as it's blue, it could be a ribbon. Now, check this out. You know why it's blue though? 
Nah. In the old days, you had to mix colors in order to get blue. You had to mix colors in order to get purple and I think red too. So it was hard to get blue. So blue was kind of like a sign of royalty. You're royal and the Lord's, and you're his kids. He said, Israel is my firstborn. So we, we, this shows your royalty. You understand? Go ahead. And th this is what it's for. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it, uh -huh. and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them. So, when you think about going up, running up on shorty to pop up, you're going to think, you're going to look, and you're like, damn, you know what? That brother saying, if, if I pop up, she she's going to be my wife. You're going to think twice on that. See what I'm saying? So, it's a friendly reminder. Because when you read up, when you read up like maybe four or five verses above that, it was a dude picking up sticks on the Sabbath day. Now the Sabbath is about to go out, but I'm gonna teach you about the Sabbath real quick. He was picking up sticks on the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is a day of rest, right? You don't do no work in it. Give me that in Exodus. Um, you don't do no work in those days on, on, on the Sabbath. And the Sabbath is the Lord's. Is a Saturday? Friday night to Saturday night. Right, cause a day, a day, how do you know when a day ends? When the sun goes down. When the sun goes down. It's the next day. Right. See what I'm saying? So Esau, well, the so-called white man. So it's not right? 12 o'clock at night like they what, what 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 is that called? What is it called? What? Midnight, right? Midnight. What is that short for? Middle. 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 What changed in the middle of the night? <laughs> Nothing but a baby's diaper and the baby bottle changed in the middle of the night. That's all. That's it. Right? So nothing changed in the middle of the night. So he said that we could look upon it and remember all the Lord, the commandments of the Lord. Sabbath day. All I'm giving, I'm giving you what we call a starter kit. Things you can do right now to start keeping. You can look online, get you some friends. They, they ain't that that much. Have somebody sew them on. Go take it, take it to the little, little uh, to the damn cleaners. That's sew it on for you, right? If you if you come up here next week, then a week after that, the brothers the brothers itself will provide you a shirt. We got to see that you really want to, you know, want to get to it. You understand? Because we can't hey, just have you rocking fringes. Yeah, you going to, yo, pass me that blunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to be serious. That's madness. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Bring this out. The book of Exodus 35 and 2. Bring it out. Six days shall work be done. Uh -huh. But on the seventh day. What is the seventh day again? Saturday. 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 Friday night. When the sun go now. Go ahead. But on the seventh day, uh -huh. there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Uh -huh. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. Shall be what? Shall be put to death. See, right now we're under grace. But grace means what? You just have a period of time. If, if your phone is due today, they might not turn it off to Tuesday. That's the grace period. But they saying what? You you gotta pay your phone still. It's like your rent. You yeah. Pay the first, they're not gonna kick you off that day. They they get you like the fill. Yeah yeah. You see what I'm saying? You got a grace period. So so he giving you a time to get right. But right now he's saying look, and, and it's a reason why he's he's strict about his Sabbath days. Yeah. Cause why? The white man wants you to work seven days a week. You have a loving God. He said, you know what? I want you to rest. And it, it's a reason why he wants you to rest. He take it as you disobey. Yeah, you disobey. It's not only that, though. He created the world in six days, and he rested on the seventh. So it's a sign between us and him to show that, that we know that he is our creator. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation. Now right here he said, you shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation means you have a preparation day. You can, you, can, you can start at Thursday or you can go, you can start at the beginning of Friday. You can cook your food and lay it over. Right, just put some aluminum foil out on it and leave, and leave it out. It'll stay room temperature. It's only 24 hours. I had, I had some cold cut sandwiches on my way here. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's certain ways that, that you can keep this commandment. So you ain't got to cook, because you know how we get down. Then we cut them onions up, get the garlic. We, we chefing it up in the kitchen. We flipping the pots and pans. He said, nah, don't do that. You can do that before the Sabbath come in and just lay it over, right? 
But most of the times, you know, you can eat cereal, salad, cold cuts, fruits. You know what I mean? You can. You, it's ways to get around it. To the sun. To the sun. And, and look, the sun almost died right up. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. You shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations uh -huh. upon the Sabbath day. Upon the Sabbath day. Nehemiah 10 and 31 real quick. Cause this is this is to the Sabbath day too. Check this out. The book of Nehemiah 10 and 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. Now he say, if any of the people of this land bring wear or victuals, wear is clothing. Right? You see, you see people out here selling shoes and all this. They got the stores open right now. He say, wear or victuals. Victuals is food. If any other people of the land bring wear or victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We won't buy it of them on the Sabbath day. Yeah, we don't buy, we don't buy, we don't sell. Say, say, say the Lord bless you with a business. And you the boss of it, you the owner. You might as well just put it on the closed Saturday. Closed Friday night, six o'clock. Yeah, there you go. You see what I'm saying? Think about that. The Lord said, I want you to rest, bro. Why? Because how you gonna take care of somebody if you don't take care of yourself? Think about that. That's your that's your God. Right? One more thing we can't do on the Sabbath. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 13. Bring it out. And thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, uh -huh. from doing thy pleasure from on doing my holy day. Doing your own pleasure on the Sabbath day. Go ahead. On my holy day. Uh -huh. And call the Sabbath a, a delight. And delight in his day. Because you're going to rest. Not only will you rest, you sit here, you start reading the word. You, once you start keeping the Sabbath and you start reading the word, the Lord going to open your understanding. You're going to be intrigued with your history. you be like, damn, that's in the Bible? I didn't even know that shit. Hey, hey look, no, seriously. Yo, when I started keeping the Sabbath, and I tell the brothers this, this is how I came in the truth. I started reading Judges. I kept seeing how they be disrespectful, and the Lord saved, or put them in captivity, then the Lord saved them. As soon as they get out, they'll be right back disrespectful. He had to put them in another captivity, they prayed to him, he killed them out. It was a whole cycle. I said, man, these gotta be niggas. Then I started doing research. Guess what? It's niggas. So that's how I came in truth. I started keeping the Sabbath and started reading the word. Right, go ahead. The holy of the Lord, uh -huh. honorable, and shall honor him, uh -huh. not doing thine own ways. Not doing your own ways. Nor finding thine own pleasure. Go ahead. Nor speaking thine own words. Nor speaking your own words. Cause evil communication corrupt good manner. Right? So therefore, you should you should do this. Um, Zechariah, uh, Zephaniah 2 and 1. The last two, King. Zephaniah 2 and 1. The book of Zephaniah 2 and 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. You what? Gather, Gather yourselves, yourselves together. together. We out here every Sabbath in the, in the Bronx. From 2.30 to, to whenever it close up. Y'all welcome to come and join us. You know what I mean? If y'all want to, y'all can bring a little, little folder chill. Sit down. You know what I mean? Just go through the Bible with us. Get your Bible. Start inking up the scriptures. And, and get into this thing. This is your history. Who don't want to know about their history? It says to have to um how you know where you're going if you don't know where you came from. How? You won't. You'll be trying to follow everybody else's path right now. Right now, most of our people is following the white man's path. That's why they're in Christianity. Getting taught white white supremacists. Right. Right? Or they in Islam. It was created by a white man, but it's it's an Arab, an Arab religion. That's confusion. When the Lord said, I didn't give you religion, I gave you a heritage. I gave you laws, statutes, and commandments to live by. Right? Read. Gather yourselves together. Uh -huh. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Who desires us? Who desires the nigga? <laughs> no, seriously. No, it's, 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 it's not funny, but. Kids. No, who the desires kids. us? Who really wants us? What other nation? You know what they want from you? To work. They want your money. And excuse this, if it's a woman, she wants your, your meat. If it's another man of another nation, you want your womb. That's all you're desired for. That's it. 
They don't desire us. Your work ethic and your producing power. That's it. That's why he said, gather together, O nation, not desire. Because nobody's going to love you like your people love you. I just met you, sis. I love you. I just met you, brother. I love you. Like I told a brother earlier, if I see somebody doing you wrong, I have to step in. I can't stand against your blood. That's part of our heritage. You got to step in. That's part of our heritage. Last one for you, brother. Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 21. Remember these are the ones I said that you can start doing now. And verse number five. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So he said, we can't do the Michael Jordan, the Charles Barkley, the Shaquille O'Neal. You can't make boldness upon your head. You can't take the razor, the Gillette razor, just, you know what I mean? No zeros. No zeros. Right? Go ahead. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. He said, neither shall you shave off the corner of your beard. Right? So you can keep it low. Right? Which means you can hit it with a one or a two, but the lining, you can't destroy that. Cause look, check this out. Why why does why does it keep coming back if you shave it? It's supposed to be here. There you go. It's supposed to be there. Yeah, that's why I keep coming growing back. It's supposed to be there. And you know what's crazy? I, I didn't even think about it till right now. The white man even know that. The movie Evan Almighty, the sequel to Bruce Almighty, he kept shaving his beard. He would look out, look out the mirror and look back, it's there. And it kept getting fuller and fuller. Because it's supposed to be there. But remember, it's not the white man's book, it's your book. And he put it in your face blatantly. He put it in your face blatantly. You see what I'm saying? We don't even know that. Con, that's it right there? Yeah. So, brother, what are some of the commandments I just taught you? About eating. What well, we can't eat. You no, can ask the two sisters. They don't uh, have fish and fins. You can't eat it. Without no. fins? Without? Fins and tails. Cool. No. Scales. 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 Fins and scales. Fins and scales. You can't eat it. No pork. No pork. No pork. All right, go ahead. Anything that don't split the hoof and eat grass. What? Anything that don't split the hoof and eat grass. Any animals that eat other animals, What's not supposed to eat that. Can't eat that. So if they don't eat grass, not get food. Yeah. And then you said because you got the you got the hoof splitting, like you got you got deer, moose, uh, bison. Don't antelope. 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 antelope, antelope. No, no, I'm not saying you can eat it. That's what I'm saying. Antelope. They split the hoof. That's like the deer family, ain't it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Right? Yeah, we don't know. We won't know about Antelope. I was just watching a documentary. They were saying there's some type of variety. I don't know if it's Antelope. That's what I just said. I don't, but, but, you know. It's a, it's a split, though. Yeah, he said I don't know if the hoof split. I think it is. Yeah, they do. They do. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, what about the dress code? Um, Fringes. 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 No, blue, any Seven. type of blue. Seventh day is Saturday, where you don't eat. Once the sun go you down. Don't, you don't cook. Uh -huh. you don't work. You don't work. And what else? You don't do that. None of the things that you do, we do, you don't do it. Only what do about it around yourself? you? What about yourself? No, no, I'm saying, what about around you? Yeah, don't go in restaurants. Oh, yeah, don't, don't even buy, support. There you go, don't buy. If I, if I see a bad girl, or if I go up to her, that could be my wife. Yeah, there you go. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I told you. I'm, I'm getting to him real quick. And what else? Uh huh. Commandment. What about this? Don't what about this when it grows? There you go. Don't shave your head. There you go. Don't shave your head. Just don't do that line. Just don't cut into the lines. Right? But you got I a Bible? Everybody to shave everything. You got a Bible? My, my dad got one in his house. The brother, the brother got a Bible. You want to give him a Bible, kid? Uh-huh. Uh, there you go. You got a Bible? I got a piece of it. Yeah, I would love one, yeah. You can see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, I was looking so like it was uh, like words. Like yeah. You can see it? Yeah. All right, come on, come on. So look, this is the 66, right? This is the 1611, right? No, it's not All right, so, so this the, is the 66, right? So the 14 in this book is missing. The 14. 
All right. So the thing would do is, is uh, if you have the if you have the money, the, the thing you would be to get a 1611, or you could just go on Amazon to get this. This I think it's like 10.99. Eight dollars. Can I take a picture of that one? Yeah, you can take a picture. Yeah, Apocrypha. Called oh, Apocrypha. Apocrypha means hidden books. That's the 1611. Before they took this out. Oh, that's the official one. No, no, that's the official. That's the official, and then they put. I hear all this Old Testament, New Testament. Yeah. Did I got anything to do with this? No, no. So, so what separates the Old Testament and the New Testament is a piece of paper. That's all. Oh, okay. Right? Now check, check this out. So the Old Testament would be your, your laws and your prophets. The New Testament is, is Christ and the apostles. But, but all of it's one story. Oh, okay. Remember that. All of it's one story. It's our story. To come back to our God. Now, last thing before you leave, I'm gonna show you a reward real quick. Oh, you got a preacher? Go ahead. Because he was talking about a woman and a portion of a woman. This is um, Syrac Ecclesiasticus 35 and verse 21. A woman has to take any man as a husband, but a man must choose his wife carefully. Yeah. God, you heard that? No, no, no. What, what, so, so, read it again. Right. It says, a woman has to take any man as a husband, uh -huh. but a man must choose his God. wife carefully. So, what is he saying? He's saying that no, a I, woman. I know what he's saying. He's saying a woman basically. Whatever she get, she could get it. But our man, <laughs> the man has to choose. Ex exactly. Because why? The man actually is supposed to choose the woman. Right now, even 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 the, the speech nowadays say, "Oh, your bitch chose me." That's even off. Know what I'm saying? That's even off because a man is the one that's supposed to do the choosing. You see what I'm saying? You said you got one? You got a person? Oh, come on, come on. Bring this out real quick. Now, this is the reward. Remember, remember what we read in, um, in Second Edges? Say, all these other people was nothing, but he created them. So, let me show you something. This is our reward. Because even the kingdom of heaven, what they say the kingdom of heaven, heaven looked like? It's one big pearly gate. It, is what? That's what they say, right? <laughs> Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord is going to have mercy on us again. And will yet choose Israel. And at the end of the day, he's still going to choose us. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. You know what it's like? You know what it's like? Let me just make this. The Lord is like. No matter what this woman did, I'ma still choose her. Cause he likened us into a comely and delicate woman. Yeah, we went off, but blood was shed in order for us to come back. So he said, I'ma still choose her. That's how much he loves us, right? Right now, they, they call that call it what? Uh, sipping? The Lord is not a simp. But he just loves us that much. Right, go ahead. And the strangers. And the what? And the strangers. All the other nations shall be joined with them. They're going to be joined with us. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And they're going to cleave unto the house of Jacob. Go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. So it goes even further. They say the people are going to take us and bring us to our place. They're going to be carrying our daughters in their arms, I mean, our, our sons in their arms, and no, our, our daughters in their arms and our sons on their necks. And bringing us to our place. Go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Uh -huh. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Shall do what? Shall possess them. Sister, that coat is your possession. Brother, that scully mass is your possession, right? You can do what the hell you want with it, right? They say the stranger is going to be your possession. We can do what? We can do what we want with them. This is, this is the reward for giving up the, the, the little bullshit of this life. What, yo, what is more than you have in your own place? Christ say, in my, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it's not, if it wasn't, I wouldn't have said so. Christ didn't speak no gal. So you already got a mansion waiting on you. You got slaves waiting on you. You got 12 tribes of beautiful women waiting on you. 
But you just gotta do well, buddy. You just gotta claim it. You gotta seek it and claim it. Right? Go ahead. Uh, and it reads. Shall, shall possess them uh -huh. in the land of the Lord uh -huh. for servants and handmaids. For servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And we're going to rule over them. That's right. See that? So sweet. The kingdom of heaven. <laughs> 21 and 12. 21 and 12? Oh, yeah. yeah. They were two and a... Uh, nah, he said, 20, he, he, said, he, said, he said one fifth per the gate. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you something. This is why I said once you start reading it, you're going to be like, damn, man, that's it now? Listen, listen to this. The book of Revelation 2 and 12. And had a wall great and high. Uh -huh. And had 12 gates. And had what? And had 12, 12 gates. gates. Now, I like to ask this. God created 18 nations. God created 18 nations. Which six nations ain't getting in? I'm, I'm gonna help you out. None of these ain't getting in. I don't need the ones over here. 12 gates. Which what? And had 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels. You ever been to an exclusive, uh, exclusive, exclusive club? You had to bounce outside? It said, at every, yeah, checking your ID, looking at his list, seeing if you're on the list. That's how they really do it. How you say on Boondocks? I'm telling you right now, you ain't getting in with them shoes. I'm telling you right now, Grandpa, you ain't getting in with that, with that fade. Right? Go ahead. And at the gates, 12 angels, uh -huh. and names written thereon. And names written thereon. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So who go through these gates? You see that? That's why the brother said you just got to claim it. Go ahead. On the east, three gates. On the north, three gates. And on the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations. And in them, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. And he had, and he had talked with me had it go to the streets what what the streets at the streets is right above it right yeah yeah give me uh, that precious stones where at it's right above it right uh, yeah right yeah, yeah, yeah. okay con revelation 20 21 and 11. Go ahead. having the glory of god and her light was like unto a stone most precious even like a jasper stone clear as crystal yeah Nah, I said, I said, with the streets of gold. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Come on. Right. Uh, verse 12. 21 and 12. I mean, 21 and, 21 and 21. Go ahead. And the 12 gates were 12 pearls. The gates are big ass pearls. They're not, they're not actual gates, they're pearls. So the angel is there to move the pearl out the way, let you in, and roll it back. <laughs> Go ahead. Every several gate was one was of one pearl, uh -huh. and the street of the city was pure gold. Was what? Was Ooh. pure gold. So look, look what you're walking on right now. Dirty ass concrete and asphalt with bubble gum stains. It's gonna be pure gold. Listen, it's gonna be pure gold. But look, look, listen how pure gold is. As it were transparent glass. As it was see-through glass. That's how pure the gold is. Go ahead. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. You see that? And he's going to be our rest in that day. So that's the reward. Right? So, brother, what's your name? Uriah. Jariah? Uriah. 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 It's in the Bible. I was going to say that like 10 times. But I'm like, I want to sound like a... So, hey, we're going to see you next week? Huh? We're going to see you next week? I left right there too. So yeah, yeah, because you know you can't work. Huh? No, you can't work. Yeah, they can't buy. They can't sell. Just come out here and kick it. From two thirty. Yeah, from two thirty. I see y'all next week. Y'all fly? Huh? Yeah, get get a brother fly. Oh, you got one? All right. Hey, sister, let me get let me get his last commandment. Then I'm gonna close out the the next mighty brother. What's up, brother? Hey, hey you got five minutes? All right, Khan. So the brother, the brother gonna teach you something. Give me um, Deuteronomy um, 2025 real quick. So sis, this is how, this is what your fringes, this is what your fringes go on, all right? Check this out. The book of Deuteronomy 22 and verse five. Check it out. And it reads. 
The woman shall not. Huh? Are we able to comment after? No, no, he's the brother gonna teach you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, come. What the, the elder gonna come up and, and you can converse with him. Come. Uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Go ahead. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, uh -huh. for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it say, a man can't wear a garment that belongs to a woman. What is a garment that belongs to a woman that men wear nowadays? Dresses. There you go. Dresses. Right now, look. How do you differentiate? How, how can you tell the difference between a man's bathroom and a woman's bathroom? A woman got on a dress and a man got on pants. So, so even like I said earlier about Esau knowing about the beard, he even know about the dress code. So, on the bottom of your dresses, sis, you're supposed to have these. So I'm saying. So, a woman put the dress in, in modest apparel. Yeah, there you go. And and, and that's that's a. Uh, I say hygien hygienic um, reasons too, cause you're supposed to breathe. Right. When you have one a pen, when you have a pen, right. yeah, you can't you can't breathe. Oh, you gotta breathe. Right, and then and then my, uh, one of my other brothers say this: Why does pants have a zipper on the front? Cause you can pull out your So what a woman's pulling out? Nothing. You see what I'm saying? So that that's what it is. All right. So, all, there you man. go, sister. Thank you so all right, much. what's your name, sister? Shaquila. Shaquila? Yeah. All right, my name is Abad. He said, thank all right. you, all right. And, and hey, the hand is extended just like the brother. Yeah, I got the website too, so. So you can come out, you can come out, and we'll, if, if you ain't got a seat, we'll have you a seat and everything. Will y'all be here? Yeah, okay. 2.30, okay. every Saturday. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, right sis. Right, sis. Get this close to pre we're gonna close out. Psalm chapter 119 and verse 157. Bring it out. Many are my persecutors uh -huh. and my enemies. Go ahead. Yet do I not decline from thy testimony. So we have many enemies and many persecutors that come out here, but we ain't gonna we gonna not we are not gonna decline from thus said the Lord. Right. We're gonna read from Genesis all the way to Revelation, including the book that the Christians that say, oh, we don't believe in that book. Right. Right. We're gonna bring out the apocrypha. Bring it out. I beheld the transgressors. Uh -huh. And was grieved Go ahead. because they kept not thy word. So we supposed to be grieved when we see nobody keeping the law, that's the commandment. That's why he said, Go out and set a mark on the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that's done in Israel. Read. Consider how I love thy priests. Uh -huh. Quicken me, O Yahweh. What we ask God to do? Quicken me, O Yahweh. What do we need? Quicken me, O Yahweh. Read. According to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning. Uh -huh. And every one of their righteous judgments. What's this kingdom on the phone? Every one of their righteous judgments. What's Esau getting put in chains? Every one of their righteous judgments. And the other nations is objection. Every one of their righteous judgments. And the Israelites back on top. Every one of their righteous judgments. Read. And do it forever. Hold on. And do it forever. Hold on. And do it forever. And with that, I'd like to give all glory and honor to the Most High Yahweh. And we do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Death to America! Death to America! Come Yashala! Come Yashala! Come Yashala! Come Yashala! Come Yashala!